Hello everybody, this is uh, Yellow Mustang here again with another scripting tutorial. Today we're doing iPairs versus pairs, how they're used with tables, and the advantages and disadvantages of each, and the situations in which they will be useful. So let's jump into Roblox Studio here and see what we can learn about pairs and iPairs, our favorite little for loops that we got built into Roblox. Let's Let's go here. So we're going to do pishpod today as our table name. Okay. And then we're going to do uh, video tutorials are inferior to articles. Okay. So we got some uh, strings there in our array slash table extravaganza. So let's go ahead and iterate through this. We're doing i pairs first today, so new pitch pod do. Okay, so most of you by now I'm sure are familiar with for loops, so we're gonna go over this quickly. So so i is the index, it'll go up by one each time. V is the value. It's going to be um, constantly changing depending on which um, value we're on within the actual array or table. So um, let's go ahead and print i, okay, and then v. Oops, okay, so let's go ahead and print that. Let's see, see what we get here in the um, here. So okay, so we got each uh, index printed along with the uh, the string. That's all fine and dandy. So let's go ahead and um, so as you can see, this behaves exactly the same as pairs would. So pairs would be would do the exact same thing with this. So the, they're going to act the same in this case because nothing's wrong. So the difference between i pairs and pairs is this. So if we have nil, actually let's put nil a little bit further back here. So if we have a nil value in our array, so like whatever got deleted for some reason or we overwrote it with nil intentionally. So we're going to go through and it's going to stop at nil right so it's just going to completely stop and it's not going to continue so if the um if the value in the array is nil it's going to stop if um if the key in the array is not numeric then it's not going to print it so so in the array by default all these keys we're putting in here or all these um values in here are assigned keys so keys are numbers right so key well keys by default are numbers. Let me let me rephrase myself there. So video is going to be assigned key one, key two, key three, key four, going down the line, right? So so what happens if we do this now? So let's do um we'll do uh pish equals um text. Okay, so now what we've done here is we've assigned our own key to this um this array here. So this key in particular is equal to this string here. Um, we can have the key equal another array and, and do it that way. It's pretty flexible. It could be another boolean, whatever, but just know this key is set specifically to be pish. It's not numeric. So it's going to continue counting down the line here. So let's go ahead and see um, what's, what's going on here. Let's actually um, um, yeah, so let's let's go ahead and um, and run this again and see if um, i pairs actually printed or not. Okay, so as you can see, it skips over it the um, the key that is not numeric there, right? So um, yeah, it skips over it. So let's go jump into pairs here. So i v in pairs pish pod do. Okay, so. You can see see the loops are pretty pretty similar. It's one one freaking you know letter that's different here, but uh, makes a small difference. Okay, so again, just to reiterate, index value right uh, pish pod table. Okay, right easy. So let's go ahead and print i v. Okay, so we're gonna print the value, and uh, let's actually include nil in here even. So as you can remember, um, in pairs or i pairs, I mean, uh, did not print nil. It stopped at nil. Okay. So let's see what happens here. So as you can see, it um, iterates through, and um, it actually tells us 
So it goes one, two, three, four, five. You can see all the keys here are numeric up until pish. Pish is actually, you know, our own custom key that we set here for for text. So if we wanted to um, actually reference this key, so we could do pish pod. Um, pish, okay, and then that would print text, okay. For any of the other ones, we could do one, two, three, right? But pish is like this. If we want to print print uh, text, we would put pish. If we want to print video, put one, okay? Because there's no key, custom key set. It's by default. It's numeric, okay? All right. So so there's your two two uh, four loops there. That's um that's basically it. Let's um there's another way of actually iterating through um arrays it's it's not not good at all but it works. So we could do 4i equals 1 uh number pish pod do. So um the uh the number pish pod actually gives us the um number of um values we have within this um table here, okay? So let's go ahead and print uh, pish pod i okay and, and see what we get here so we should only be printing the um, the numeric uh, keys here because um, iterating through with um, i is not going to print pish obviously because pish is pish all right all right so you can see here so it printed it even printed nil here so so video tutorials are nil to articles. Okay, so it completely skipped our little um, pish here and it went straight to articles. You can see it didn't even try to um, to um, freaking uh, print it at all. See, it didn't even iterate through the loop for that for that one. It just uh, carried on. So so the number pish pod is only going to be referring to um, the numeric key values. So video tutorials are nil to articles okay so so how many times did this this loop iterate through here one two three four five six iterated through six times right okay so we got one two three four five and six right excluding pish so it's like pish is not even there to this essentially so so that's that's basically the difference between um the uh, the three loops here, but 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 for loops, um, for um, tables iteration, you're gonna wanna iterate through with um, through i pairs, okay? Um, let's see, I think I think that's about it. So i pairs, pairs, yeah, I think that's about it. Okay, yeah, if you guys have any um, questions in the comments, you know, feel free. Uh, post them. You guys have been good about posting comments, posting scripts. It's good. Spark some discussion in the comments section. I like to see that. You know, I, I pitch in when I can. So, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching. You know, check out my other videos if you haven't already. I got more tutorials. Subscribe because I got more better tutorials coming. You know, I'm new to YouTube, but um, as we go on, we're going to get better here. And so, you know, it's only uphill from here pretty much. So stay tuned and uh, thank you for watching.